Lynn started the entire, the entire session by saying, rather than, I'm not a master teacher, I would ra much rather be, and I'm not quoting her correctly, but she, she decided she'd much rather be a colleague and a sounding board. And, of course, you know, which is exactly what a master teacher would say. Uh, I've watched her give notes. And as important as, as what the note is on a particular scene is the way in which it's, the way in which it's presented. I mean, it has to be heard. I mean, you, you can certainly communicate the idea of what needs to be done in the scene but you have to communicate it in such a way that it's heard in the correct manner. She seems to have a genius for that. Uh, I was watching a scene today and the, uh, uh, the actor that was doing it, it was a very, very emotional scene. And very brave of the actor to do it because in a lot of ways the emotion was not quite governable. And uh, Lynn, Lynn was very generous with her time, very generous with her words, and finally gives the note, I guess essentially, pick your moment. Pick the moment where the burst of emotion is most telling. And not just, not just for, the, for the flow of the scene, but also for the emotional flow of the actor that's doing it. And I, I just thought, I just thought that was so well done. Uh, I, 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 she's a very gentle soul, and the kind of life experiences that she has, that she's had, uh, endear me to her. We were doing scenes today, and some people were doing monologues, and they required somebody to be sitting there in order to work on it, you know, just to react. And there was always the sense of the person who was sitting there silently, you know, absorbing and trying to reflect something back to the, to the actor who was working on the words. I won't let you fall. I will not let you down here. Anything you give me, I'm, I'm willing to give equally back to you. And that's a universal, that seems to be a universal trait of actors in the States. Uh, and I, I was very glad to see that. I was very glad to see that. It's reassuring. And not you, see, Camilla. Oh, but that's past doubt. You have. Oh, your eyeglass is thicker than a cuckold's horn. <laughs> or her. For through a vision it's so apparent, rumor cannot be mute. Or thought, for cognition lies not in him that does not think my wife is slippery. If I will confess, or else be impudently negative, to have nor eyes, nor ears, nor thought, then said, my wife's a hobby horse, deserves a name as rank as any flax wench that puts two before her cloth tried, say it and justify it. Is whispering nothing? Is leaning cheek to cheek? Is meeting noses, kissing with inside lip, stopping the career of laughter with a sigh, a note infallible of breaking honesty, horsing foot on foot, skulking in corners, Wishing clocks were more swift, hours, minutes, noon, midnight, and all eyes, blind with the pin and web. But there's, there's alone that would unseen be wicked. Is this nothing? And the world and all that's in it is nothing. The covering sky is nothing. Bohemia, nothing. My wife. Is nothing, nor nothing have these nothing if this be nothing. It's the perfect place, I think, for an artist to come and reflect 
and work and come up with ideas and I'm just glad to see that it's, uh, it's finally come back to its original purpose.